The volume length times width times height of the rectangular prism at the right is 80x third, 80x cubed plus 224x squared plus 60x. Factor to find possible expressions for the length, width, and height of the prism. So we have to factor this. There's going to be a common factor because we know they're all even, so that's good. divide them by 2, look how far apart 80 and 60 are, 20. So we know that it also has to go into 20. So think of numbers that go into 20. You have 2, sure, 10, but 10 won't go into this. Or you got 4 and 5. Now 5 won't go into this, so let's check 4. 224 divided by 4, boom, 56. So let's try dividing them all by 4. Now they also do have an x, so we will kick out a 4x. 4 times 20 would give us 80. Uh, we need x squared still. 4 times 56 gives us 224. And 4 times 15 would give us that 60x. Now, we're going to do our sweet shortcut method here. Let's see, let's go green. We got the 4x out there. So we got to do 20 times 15, which is 300. We need factors of 300 that add up to 56. Now I know for a fact that it is 50 times six. They'd have to both be plus. X plus 50, X plus six. And then remember we try to divide those by the number in front, the 20. Fifty doesn't divide evenly into 20, but they're both divisible by 10. And then remember, we kick the 2 to the front, it becomes 2x plus 5. Over here, what goes into 6 and 20? 2. Goes into 6 3 times, goes into 20 10 times. So then we kick the 10 to the front, 10x plus 3. And then don't forget, we kicked out the 4x, the greatest common factor from the get-go. So these are the three lengths length, width, and height. You got 4x, you got 2x plus 5, and you got 10x plus 3. Whoo!